Lo Dupre victorious on the stage to lead over all ahead of Mione. Puyol got third on the stage ahead of Bretignier with a two-wheel drive. Coma fifth today. Overall, Dupre has that lead over Mione of 9 minutes 13 seconds. Coma third, Puyol fourth, Alfie Cox in fifth. Bretignier with the Yamaha then in sixth ahead of Andy Caldicott, Sala de Azevedo, Chris Blaise. Ah, game over, no? Palander Zulavaceta out of the rally, he says it's over now. It's the most stupid thing I've ever done. It was completely flat and then a fell. Phil Dupre saying, this morning I started 7 12 minutes behind Esteve. Good day for me, before talking about ranking though, I had a good feeling on the bike. At the beginning of the stage, it really did feel very good. I think that my Dakar really now does begin today. I'm happy to see this stage because it was relatively easy for me without being tired and worn out. I've, I've got a good feeling. Bueno, salido primero. Y la es que es saying, when I started this morning, I was alone for a long, long time. When we got to the camel grass, he only caught me and then we rode together. Before CP2, it was very technical though, through the dunes, with very soft sand for us. It was, it was far too difficult, but for us, so I don't know what it's going to be like for the cars. After CP2, it was very quick and Dupre caught us up. We finished together and I think it was, all in all, a very good day, a good day for me. Me only saying the stage was not very difficult for me today. I tried to keep a good pace, but I think that Cyril was very, very quick today, even though I was flat out as well. For this Dakar, all competitors are equipped with the brand new Sentinel system that helps bikes and cars to be passed by quicker vehicles from behind. Mark Liara from Sentinel explaining the idea is very simple. When a car beeps its horn, the bike riders regularly can't hear it. So what we've done is to put a linked horn system onto the bike too. This is the Sentinel box. About as big as a large cigarette packet. We've got various switches on it. One that can make the sound louder or lower, together with alterations to the, uh, to the visual warning as well. In the car, the box is here. I can alter the level of the light and the sound too, as you can hear. So, for example, we're coming up behind a bike, I beep the horn, and at the same time we transmit to the bike that I'm here to enable me to pass safely. Obviously, when the system gets close, it links up. This is the reason why the Sentinel is on the machines this year. In the past, riders have been hit by encroaching vehicles and Sentinel hopes to eliminate this in the future. The second advantage is that in case of a fall, you can put the system on constant to prevent another crash. And then every car which arrives will be able to hear the alarm and therefore they can kill a bit of speed. All cars, bikes and trucks are equipped with the Sentinel for the very first year. The system has been tested very successfully on the Morocco and Tunisia rallies last season before ASO, the Dakar organizers, decided to equip everybody with the system. It's a big step for security of everybody competing out in the desert. On this Dakar, a truck started on a stage in 63rd position. He finished 27th. He overtook 35 trucks in only 120 kilometers before Sentinel, surely that would have been impossible. 